In this video we going to talk about introduction of polymer. Before that, please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. What is a polymer? We are surrounded by polymer products wherever we go. We use them dozens of times a day. It's ranging from our clothes and undergarments that could be from nylon, cotton or polyester. Example of items made from polymer such as shoes, handphone, plastic forks, insulating cups, plastic bottles and bags, clear plastic films to warp our foods. What are polymer? The term polymer comes from Greek, where poly mean many and meros mean part or unit. Thus polymers or macromolecules are compounds composed of very large molecules with molecular weight ranging from a few thousand to a millions of gram per mole. They are built up from the repetition of a small chemical units or monomer. Monomer is any molecule and can be converted to a polymer by polymerization or synthetization reaction with other molecules of the same or different type. You can imaging monomer as a Lego block and polymer as a Lego brick wall. Monomer is defined as a simple molecule with two or more binding sites that combine using different forms of chemical linkages. They were classified into two categories which are natural and synthetic monomers. Natural monomers are molecules that exist in nature and join together to form larger biological molecules. For examples monorides, amino acids, nucleotides, isoprene, fatty acids, and alcohols. A molecule can be classified as monofunctional molecules are molecules with one functional group or active site. Bifunctional molecules are molecules with two functional groups or two active sites or Polyfunctional molecules are molecules more than two functional groups or two active sites. Noted that monomers can only be bifunc polyfunctional molecules. Example of bifunctional molecules are ethylene whereby, an extra pair of electrons in the CC double bond endows it with the ability to enter into the formation two bonds, or presence of two similar condensable groups in both hexamethylene diamine NH2, and adipic acid COOH, or, Molecules with two different possible groups such as 6-hydroxyhexanoic acid with N groups of OH and COOH. While for polyfunctional molecules are molecules that contain more than two active sites such as, glycerol contains of 3-hydroxyl groups, glucose contains an aldehyde group as well as 5-hydroxyl groups or, 3-cyano-3-ethyl-5-oxyhexanoic acid contains nitrile, hydroxyl and carboxyl groups. Polymers have different behaviors and can be found either naturally or synthetically created. Thus, they are can be classified in various ways. Basic classification of polymers can be based on source of origin, monomers, polymerization, molecular forces, structure or chain linearity and tacticity. Let's take a look the type of polymers classified based on their origin. There can be divided into one natural polymer, two synthetic polymers, and three semi synthetic polymers. Natural polymers are polymers which occur in nature and are existing in natural sources like plants and animals. At the very least, they were further categorized as interbiological and plant origin polymers, which are found in human and animals alike, as belong to biological's origin, for example, enzymes nucleic acids and protein while polymers which are obtained from plants such as starches plant fibrous materials or natural rubber latex are categorized as plant-based natural polymers synthetic polymers are polymers which we create slash synthesize in a lab they are commercially produced for human necessities some polymers are used frequently such as polyethylene a mass-produced plastic which we use in packaging, or nylon fibers, commonly used in our clothes, fishing nets etc. Semi-synthetic polymers are polymers obtained from modification of natural polymers under controlled chemical reaction. They are commercial importance. For example, Vulcanized rubber whereby sulfur is used as a bridging or cross-linking agent between the natural rubber chains. Polymers can be classified based on the number of monomer required to synthesize it. It can be homopolymers whereby polymers synthesized from one type of monomer or, or 
Copolymers are polymers derived from the mutual reaction of at least two monomers that are chemically similar but not identical. Examples of homopolymer are PE polyethylene with ethylene units, PVC polyvinyl chloride with vinyl chloride unit, PP polypropylene with propylene units, and many more. And examples of copolymer are acrylonitrile butadiene styrene copolymer, ABS synthesized from acrylonitrile. Butadiene and styrene monomer, styrene butadiene copolymer or known as styrene butadiene rubber SBR. Polymerized from styrene and butadiene monomers, polyethylene vinyl acetate, PIVA were synthesized from ethylene and vinyl acetate monomers, and so on. Polymers also can be classified according to the mode of addition of monomers either by chain growth polymerization involves a chain reaction that requires an initiator. For examples, polyethylene, polybutadiene, deflon, polyvinyl chloride, and etc. Or growth polymerization is due to condensation process that take place in several steps. The condensation process may or may not be accompanied by elimination of smaller molecules such as water, for examples, nylon, bakelite, polycarbonate, etc. Also we can classify polymers based on molecular forces either elastomer, thermoplastics, or thermosetting. For elastomers or rubbery polymers are moderate entangled or physical cross-linked polymer chains. About 1 in 100 chains are entangled on average. This causes elastomer to possess a small degree of memory and slight molecules from moving over one another. Thermoplastic polymers are long-chain polymers in which intermolecules forces, van der Waals forces, hold the polymer chains together. These polymers softened when heated up forming thick fluid-alike and hardened when they are allowed to cool down, forming a hard mass, thermoset polymer polymers which either in semi-liquid or solid in nature depending on molecular masses. It melts with initial heating and solidified permanently with further heating due to massive cross-linked polymer chains formed. These structures prevent the molecules from moving over one another and enhance properties such as thermal and mechanical. Classification of polymers based on their structure or chain linearity can be three types. There are linear, branched and cross-linked. For linear polymers are similar in structure to a long chains which identical links connected to each other. The monomers in these are linked together to form a straight long chain formed from reaction of a single type of bifunctional monomers, such as vinyl monomers for example ethylene and vinyl chloride, or bifunctional monomer with two different functional groups that can intramolecular reaction of the end groups or self-polymerization such as e caprolactam and 6-hydroxyhexanoic acid. For branched, polymer, for branched polymers, their structure is like branches originating at random points from a single linear chains. Monomers join together to form a straight backbone chains with some branches of different lengths. Linear polymers are not closely packed together. They are formed from reaction of vinyl monomers. Or network polymers are product of reaction between bifunctional and polyfunctional monomers that join together and form a 3D network. These polymers possess unique characteristics some may be hard, rigid, brittle. High mechanical and thermal properties like melamine formaldehyde and bakelite. Tacticity is a term used to describe the way pendant groups or R on a polymer chain are arranged on a polymer backbone. We encounter tacticity when dealing with vinyl polymers with R equals phenyl, methyl, alcohol, chloride, and so on. There are three types of tacticity or stereoregularity which is isotactic. Syndiotactic and atactic. For isotactic, all pendant groups or R are arranged on the same side of the chain. For syndiotactic, all pendant groups are arranged on the alternate side of the chain. While for atactic, the pendant groups located randomly on the main chain. Note that the polymer chains with regular arrangement of their pendant groups like groups like isotactic and syndiotactic that will easily pack together into crystalline fibers. While for atactic polymers, packing cannot occur. This is because macromolecules pack best when it's at the same